So today I'm doing a quick video on Clean Master and uh, Clean Master for you guys that are new is basically an application meant to clean up your device, get rid of the old APK, your junk file, your cache and just make your device run a little bit faster overall. So wanted to just do a live demonstration on it, see if it works and I will be paying attention to the file sizes just to see if it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Please consider hitting that red subscribe button in the top right. Also hit the notification bell. That way when a new video is released, you will be notified. So let me go ahead and launch the application. And I did notice that it does take a while to, to kind of boot up. So here we are in the application. So let's start with the junk files. So right now it's doing a scan. And I'm gonna go ahead and write this number down. So right now it's telling me that I have 824 megabytes worth of uh, junk files that it can get rid of. So this is as far as cache, add junk, and let me scroll down a little bit. Look like some, um, look like I had some old APKs on here. So this looks pretty good so far because I do remember installing these applications. So let's go ahead and clean the junk files and we're gonna do the scan again just to see if it actually gets rid of it. So let's go ahead and clean junk all right all right so it's telling me let me go ahead and exit out of that we do have some ads in it exit out of that as well so it did tell me that hey all 824 megabytes have been removed so let's go back in telling me hey you're clean you're good to go so Pretty good so far. That was a success in my opinion. Let's go to the boost. And what the boost does is basically find the apps that are running in the background and it basically just kills them. And that will help your device run a little bit faster. So saying that my temperature is 64% or higher than normal. So it is showing 74. So let's go ahead and fix that and see what it can do. So scanning my CPU, this is a fire stick. This is the second generation. So these are the apps that are running in the background. Let's just go ahead and cool it down. And we're gonna get rid of this wonderful ad. And more ads there. All right, so it did go down, it's at 73 now. So we'll kind of monitor that just to see if it drops even more. So according to this, it is cooling down. And let's go back into details. Just want to see if the temperature drops any or if it if it actually did what it said it was supposed to do. So saying just optimize, so it's not going to do anything for me. Get back out. Still at 73%. That was the CPU cooler. And I think the CPU cooler as well as the phone boost kind of goes hand in hand. But let me go back into the phone boost. And that's where I just was. So we do have an antivirus right here. So saying that antivirus version is outdated. So let's go ahead and update now. And basically just updating the virus definitions just to be able to catch the new threats. All right, so issues to be clean is saying two. Let's click that drop down. Here are the suspected files. So Smart Connect service, Amazon delivery system, Alexa external media player, as well as the live TV. So those aren't suspicious <laughs> those look like they're actually amazon services so the text that usb debugging is turned on so basically that opens you up to be vulnerable i guess so pretty cool that it detected that unknown wi-fi not sure why that's on there that is the wi-fi i'm connected to let's go back so the battery saver that's basically if you're using this on a phone um let's click on and see what it does so it has the option to hibernate apps to save power. Set orientation, that's always running in the background. Send anywhere, really don't need that running. Let's uncheck set orientation. Not sure why Cody's there. And we're gonna hibernate these three applications. So let's go to the notification center. All right, so another thing that's probably more uh, for your mobile phone users. Let's scroll down a little bit. So we have message center, advanced cleaning, Wi-Fi security, 
safe browsing. All right, so that's what we just talked about, advanced cleaning. I'm not a big fan of these ads. There's a lot of big bulky ads popping up every two seconds. All right, so for this, you can do different things, it looks like. So download center, downloaded files can be managed. So let's handle it and see what our options are. So BTV, we're going to go ahead and delete that. Don't have any media, no document, nothing else on here. Let's go back. All right, so uninstall application. So if you guys have apps all over the place, and these are actual apps that are installed on my system, guys. All right, so let's delete this guy right here. Uninstall it. I'm going to click OK. All right. So far, so good. Let's go back. So Wi-Fi security, let's see what this involves. not gonna get into that just because I don't trust it <laughs> that much um, to have it uh, monitor my Wi-Fi so let's go over to the tools so on the tools we do have some of the same stuff so the notification uh, cleaner CPU cooler we have the security safe browsing app manager space cleaner photo cleaner charge master we also have launcher themes bitcoin not going to touch these two they're sponsored as it indicates right here so it does have some useful tools let's go back home the takeaway from this is that this application is actually very useful when i tried it a couple months back a lot of the stuff that it's supposed to do it didn't um do it didn't uh actually clean out the cache and all those junk files that we're able to get rid of this time so good to see that that was addressed maybe there was an update that actually fixed some of those issues that i dealt with but i would definitely recommend it only drawback from this application guys is the ads every couple seconds every many that you go into you see ads all over the place but that's kind of expected when you are working with an application that's free so as far as getting this the easiest way is to install this application right here it's called app Toy tv it's magnificent it's the equivalent of the google play store especially if you're on a fire stick or nvidia shield or something like that that does not have a true play store this is your play store so within here all you have to do is go to search you're going to search for app toy tv you're going to search for clean master and there it is right there so for you guys that don't have app toy tv check out the video on the top right right now it's a little eye in the top right click on that video I'll show you guys how to install aptor tv from a to z and it's probably the easiest tutorial to follow so another app that you'll need to ensure that clean master displays properly on the device is set orientation and basically that makes app fit into your screen makes it automatically pick the best resolution and trust me for this one you'll need it for it to, to work properly so this is also in the aptoid store all you have to do is search for set orientation And just scroll down is this one right here with the green box click on that and i do have it installed already so i'm just going to open it and show you guys what you need to do so just open set orientation and all you have to do is just click the drop down there and you want to set it to landscape so set it to landscape click ok and that's it so that's it for this video just a quick overview of the clean master yes i do recommend it however i don't like the ads that's all over the place but like i said it's something to expect when you're launching or you're running free programs so hit the thumbs up if you like this video thumbs down if you don't if you hit the thumbs down drop a comment in the comment section let me know why you dislike this video that way i can take that into consideration when making new content as always don't forget to like share, and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one I'm going to go to the next one.